Good Sunday morning, people. If you hear rumbling in the background, my husband's leaving to go to the gym for one of the last times that it's gonna be open for a while, at least two weeks. Anyway, uh, it is 9.35 a.m. Sunday, November 15th, I think. Um, it has been quite the morning. <laughs> it's not even 10 o'clock yet. Um, hold on. There you go. Rumbling. That's the garage door. If you can hear that, I'm not sure until I play it back. But anyway, we're right above the garage. Um, anyhow, so we started off Sunday morning with me remembering that I forgot to close the vlog for last week. So I did that already this morning. And you saw me in my messy hair bed bun. Um, <laughs> then the we were just, you know, checking on social media and watching YouTube videos with coffee and that sort of thing. And the internet did a hard down um, and it was out for quite a while. I got a little concerned about my husband working from home tomorrow. We were figuring out which phone he can do a hotspot with. Turns out both of them um, in case he had to for tomorrow uh, for work. It's back up and running now, but you know, you know. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to make myself a lanyard this morning because we're going to take a uh, puppy dog out on a WALK later. Um, I can't say the word because she'll get all like crazy. Anyway, I'm going to make myself a lanyard because I don't want to lose my keys again because yeah, that's a bad thing. <sighs> so anyway, we're going to check on a few things on my desktop that I can't check on on the iPad easily downstairs. And I also need to start writing a couple of different documents. And one of which, because I need to get it off to the printer soon. Um, I also need to continue working on the piece of fabric I'm making, making um, out of the hexagons, English paper piecing style and um, I got a box of Crayola colored pencils in the mail that I want to try and, 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 and. It's always something. Okay. All right. After the incident yesterday, uh, yesterday, last week, if you're watching this vlog, with my keys. <laughs> in case you missed that vlog, we were out walking in the rain and I lost my keys. We only had the one set of keys to get back in the house. Some very nice, kindly neighbors helped us look for them unsuccessfully, but I don't know if it was answered prayers from the universe or what. On the way back to the house, we decided to try one more spot and I found my keys. However, to, in, in an effort to not have a repeat of that situation, I'm making myself a lanyard to put my keys on before I go walking. Now, to be fair, after grand dog Lily knocking me over not long ago when we were out walking, on a warm day when I didn't have a coat on, I broke my fall with my face hitting the concrete, just FYI. It was pretty nasty. Um, I have a small bag that when it's too hot for a jacket, I will put on and my phone, my inhaler, my keys go in there. When it's cold and I have a coat on with lots of pockets, I don't see a need to also have like that bag on necessarily. Obviously, after yesterday, I need a secure, more secure way to, like, have my keys on me. So we'll have an alternative of the small bag or the lanyard. My rain jacket that I usually wear when we're walking most of the winter has a lot of pockets, but evidently not secure enough for the keys. So I have a piece of fabric here that's about two and a half inches wide, and it's about 34 inches long. I'm going to use to make myself a lanyard. So you'll need a strip of fabric and you'll need a hook. So I have these. I used to make and sell cell phone bags, so I have lots of these left over. You can get these at any fabric store. I think you can even find them at Michael's in the jewelry department. Um, but use what you have. See if you have some kind of big clippy hook thing that you can use. Maybe off of an old handbag that's falling apart. Um, then, hang on. Okay, so I took that hook I told you about and the piece of fabric. 
It was about two and a half inches wide and about 34 inches long. And I thought I filmed this and evidently I lost the clip. So anyway, I folded it in half and pressed it. And then I folded the raw edges in and then I sewed down the length of the fabric strip. Then I took the two little small ends and put them through the hook and stitched them down a few times. It's not the prettiest thing on the planet. It doesn't need to be. I just need to not lose my keys again. So lanyard, instead of buying one, I had the stuff, I made one, it cost me nothing. Now we won't lose the keys again, we hope, right? That's the idea anyways. All right. I'm gonna do a couple more things and I'll be back. Hey guys, we're going for a walk before lunch today. And this time, unlike yesterday, <laughs> our keys are secure plus Fred has an extra pair or set because, you know, we really don't want a repeat of yesterday. That being said, I do have an empty Ziploc bag in case I find stuff I wanna pick up. All right, we'll be back. everybody it is Monday November 16th I think 9:08 a.m. I think it's the 16th I know it's Monday but you know then again it's like Monday every day this year in case my neighbors having some construction work done because there's workmen in his house anyway um, yeah so I am obviously in the car and I'm trying to figure out how much to say. <clears throat> so we found out someone close to us, not in distance, but in relationship. This person lives in another state, but they're close to us. Um, if you get my drift. Has been exposed to COVID-19, probably. We get confirmation sometime in the next 24 hours. This person is elderly and yeah. I also found out this person, bless their soul, has been giving away all the masks I've been sending, um, which is wonderful, but yeah, so I am sending some more masks to that person and also another friend who requested some. I'm now officially out of cotton masks. I have um, head tubes, the knit head tubes, they're double layer and, or one really thick layer. And I have disposable masks. Plus Bob and I have our own stash of cloth masks. So don't worry about that. In fact, I've got one here in the car. Um, but I need to make some more for spares in case somebody like what happened last night Let's me know they need masks because I don't have any spares now. I'd have to wait a couple days and make some of them. So sometime this week, I'm going to be adding ma ma mask making to my to-do list again and going through my fabric stash and pulling out fabrics and making masks. Cause, yeah. Good morning, everybody. It is Tuesday morning, 8.58 a.m. Yeah, I'm in front of the computer. Hello, that's all I know. Anyway, we are going to set up for today's live, live broadcast, which is supposed to start in about an hour. And I've got to get the room and the computer and things set up and do something with the piles of like stuff that's on my desk and trash. And yeah, so let's get to it, shall we?
forgot my iPad so I can read the comments. So I better go get that. I'll be back. Okay, I think we're ready, or just about. I think we're going to do some um, dyed papers today and also work on this month's November 2020's Mission Inspiration by Mike Deacon. I think that's what we're going to do. So I've got all the stuff out ready to go and yeah, just going to piddle until it's time. I'll be back. I've been cleaning today, which isn't what I expected to be doing this afternoon, but okay. So the first thing I did was I rearranged this a little bit so that it makes sense what's down there and I can get to it easily. So that the top two basically are inspiration and reference books that I'm currently using frequently and or want to. The bottom two are basically patterns um, mostly sewing patterns, but also some, there's one binder that's, uh, there, that one's crochet, that one's embroidery. There's a couple of big books on the end that are like vintage books I take papers out of to do for collage. I have a bunch of little small books. Most of them are from my grandmother's collection there that I use also for collage. She's all, she's also stuffed like I'll find flowers and notes and things in some of them which is funny. See, there you go. Um, and I just find it, yeah, I find it endlessly interesting what I find in there and I use them, um, in my work. So I, that's nice that they're up here on the small bits bank. So I got that all cleaned up. I had a bunch of little tiny like souvenir things there were I always had to move them all to get stuff down there so I moved those around a bit and or I put some away for the moment um and yeah I got a little pile of stuff there that I'm gonna send for donation I also have two mystery boxes that I haven't sold yet and if they don't sell um in the next week or so then I'll be decomposing decomposing no, de deconstructing them and pulling out what can be donated and uh, maybe taking all the collage images and things that might be in there and putting them in an envelope and seeing if that'll sell better. I don't know, something like that. Maybe I'll just throw stuff away. We'll see. I have a box of stuff in the garage, a purge box, that I will probably send some of it to donation. Again, it depends if those two mystery boxes sell or not. Um, what else did I do? I also, oh, I also found some rubber stamps I'm going to perch, just a few, like three or four sets, because I wanted to move things around in the closet. These are my stamps. Um, not only my, oh, my boxes of my designs, which are on the end, but I have a collection of Tim Holtz stamps and Mike, Mike Deacon, my friend Mike Deacon stamps and um, different things I've collected over the years. I love blueprint stamps, fun fact. Um, anyway, I wanted to make room for the new box on the end. Art foamies. So we've got an art foamies box now. Um, so yeah, that'll make them really easy to get into. And then I uh, was dyeing some papers in today's live broadcast. And with some of the natural dyes I've made that I was using on fabric, I haven't used them on paper yet. And I decided to take some of the ones that um, didn't really turn out super great and I pressed them. I love that and they're going to be great like collage papers. Here's one that's really bright. They're not dry yet. Look at that. So I'm going to let them dry. I'll put a picture here for you all of the dried ones. I also did some printing with the art foamies and my natural dyes like dyes made, dye made out of blueberries and right 
So, you know, they're just like, there we go. They're just like collage papers. They're not intended to be a focal point, but they're intended to be something interesting for a background to something else. And I really wanted to, I love, I enjoy making my own papers more than store-bought papers. Not that I don't have store-bought papers and I love them, but you know, I also had a couple that I thought didn't turn out so good. So I sandwiched them between some of the other ones that were really, really wet. And I got, can you even see that? I don't know if you can see that, but there, yep, there's a ghosted image of the, the Art Foamy stamp on there. Here's another one. Oop, oop, oop. This one's not quite dry yet. So that'll be really cool. Anyway, uh, now I have a stack of work basket magazines. So my grandmother loved work basket magazines. She never threw a copy away. And somehow I inherited the pile or most of the pile, some of the pile, I don't know. So I'm gonna sit and go through them. I'm gonna pull out anything that's interesting. I'm not sure why I'm hanging on to them except that they were hers and that's not too bright. So. everybody it is Wednesday what month is it November November 19th maybe no 18th oh heck hang on it's November 18th 9 3 a.m. you know I want to say February March it's not it's November Anyway, I can say publicly now because people have been notified, but we found out last night my mother-in-law, who's 91, um, we got confirmation that she was exposed to COVID-19 by a neighbor. My daughter is also helping us out, no mail yet, um, helping us out. She's helping me out with some business stuff today. She is um, getting ready to send out and scheduling um, uh, business newsletters. So if you're not on my newsletter list and you want to know upcoming news with the Etsy shop and product releases, coupon codes, um, you will get first access to not only the coupon codes, but some things have limited inventory. And right now, because of COVID and things, I may not be restocking very quickly. So if you want first dibs on something and you want the coupon code for the holidays or something, you need to sign up for the newsletter, which is in my link tree list of links down below. She's also going to be lending a hand with Patreon and all of that. For those that don't know, my daughter is in marketing and advertising. It's what she does. So she's giving her mom a hand. It's probably a good thing. All right.
Good morning. It is 11.03 or so a.m. on Thursday, November 19th. And it's kind of sunny-ish. Well, it's over. It's partly cloudy. It's a little brisk, but it's not too bad. And there's no rain, more importantly, <laughs> at the moment. Maybe I'll get some steps in today. We didn't last night because it was raining way too hard. Anyway. Good morning, people. It's about 9.30ish on Friday, November 20th. And I am coffeeed up and showered and dressed and <laughs> I'm done with the computer behind me. I think today the focus is going to be finishing that little Christmas bunny cross stitch because it's just driving me nuts. And to do that, I'm going to have to, where are we? Unplug and move that uh, magnifying light that's right there on the desk behind me to the center work table. Anybody who's done uh, embroidery or cross stitch before knows you know, there are two color combinations that even if you have young eyes are hard to see black on black and white on white. And there's a lot of white on white on this rabbit. So I need a brighter magnifying light because downstairs light's not just not cutting it. And um, if there's any mistakes in it right now, it's going to just have to be that way. I'm going to have to work around it because I ain't fixing it. <laughs> anyway, that's going to be my focus today. I'm kind of hoping to get it done today or at least mostly done. So we'll see. So anyway, let's get it set up and let's get started, shall we? I'll be back. Okay, so if you're watching this clip, you saw the clip of me doing some stitching. Have we gotten as much progress this morning on it as I wanted? No. Why exactly? Because you know who doesn't know how to count. And I found some counting errors, which I had to figure out workarounds around <laughs> to make it work. Um, anybody who's done cross stitch knows exactly what I mean and you're nodding your head. Um, anyway, also my daughter's been texting me like a mad woman. Um, she's, um, for those that don't know, she works in marketing and advertising. She's helping her mom out, um, with the Etsy shop. Um, so she's laid off right now. So she said, mom, let me give you a hand. No, I'm not paying her. She's not working for me. She's just fr freely giving me a hand. Um, but if you need somebody to do that, she's available. So anyway, um, let me know. You can DM me or private message me. Um, we are setting up some specials for Black Friday and um, the holidays. If you want the early bird notice on the coupon codes, you need to be in the um, email newsletter or Patreon or YouTube membership. And the links for all of those are in the description below. If you click on the link tree list of links, it has the email newsletter and the um, Patreon link in it. But I think those are also just like loose in the video description. Hunt around, you'll find them. Um, so yeah, um, the earlier bird people will get advance notice of um, the coupon code. Um, supply on some things are limited. I will be trying to make some more stif sticker flakes to increase the inventory on those between now and then. Um, and I have a couple new designs I'm going to try hard to get done before Friday. Um, yeah, it's a lot of stuff to do. <laughs> anyway, so I got interrupted doing all of that and then decided after correcting, I think, I think, most of the counting mistakes in the cross stitch that it was time to break for lunch. Um, so I had some lunch. I just watched a little bit of YouTube, um, which I've honestly been listening to YouTube or something all morning in one ear while I'm stitching. 
Um, but we're gonna go back upstairs. We're gonna keep going at it and see how far we can get today. Do I think we'll get it done today? Probably not, but we'll see how far I can get. You never know. All right, I'll be back. Okay. We are gonna not get this little bunny done today, but I did make great progress. There are definitely some county errors somewhere, so I'm having to make adjustments as I go. Um, that being said, I do, I did think of a reason to finish him, so I have incentive to actually finish him in the next couple of days. So I'm gonna give my hands a break. Um, so fun fact, I was talking about this with Barbara Clark not long ago. Um, I don't often wear them on camera and haven't worn them a lot lately. I haven't needed to. I haven't done so much stitching for hours in a row. I usually give my hands a break because I'm not young anymore and I have arthritis in both hands. But um, most of my daytime job working career, I've done something that um, is very repetitive. So I um, at one time was a state and nationally licensed dispensing optician. Um, I made your eyeglasses and um, that requires, of course, a lot of um, manipulation, right? I also worked um, a lot uh, in retail and as a retail merchandiser. I have, um, and of course, writing on the, typing on the computer and all of that and crafting. Um, so I have some, you know, arthritis, tension-y issues with my hands. Um, also years of knitting and crochet don't help. Um, I also hurt my hands a number of times. Um, how many of you have had the braces on your hands that have the metal in the palm so that you can't move your, your hand or and or some of your fingers? Both hands. Um, I've also had stitches in um, both hands a couple of times. So yeah, so sometimes when I'm stitching, and I probably will put these on later because I think I'm gonna continue trying to get some more of this done later, or these compression gloves, fingerless compression gloves. Um, these are the Futuro brand. Um, I, these are the kind I prefer. And I used to actually wear these not only when crafting, but when working, they really helped my hands a lot. Um, my last job was as a retail merchandiser and the movements I made were very repetitive. And if I didn't wear these, then my hands really were just for crap at the end of the day. Um, you can get these at any um, store that has first aid supplies generally. Um, these are their fingerless compression gloves. And um, yeah, these are always my favorite. I've got a few of these laying around. I used to have lots of them because I would take them off and wash them every night when I got home from work because uh, they got disgusting. But anyway, so I'm going to bring these downstairs. Uh, I'm going to take a break though for a little bit. I'm going to do some flexing of my hands and do a few exercises and go get the mail while I'm doing it and stuff like that. And uh, we'll be back to it tomorrow. So I'll be back. Hey people, we're out for a walk. It's very brisk. I don't know what temperature it is, but it's kind of brisk. It was 41 degrees. 41, <laughs> it's cold. A little foggy too. If anybody asks, it's only 5.46 p.m. Yeah, and it's dark outside <laughs> and yeah, very foggy. Like feels like it's the middle of the night. Yeah, feels like it's like 10 o'clock at night, but it's that not. The soul is out. Nope, only us crazy people. All right, we'll be back. Good morning, people. So it's like just after nine o'clock. And do you hear that noise? Oh yeah, there's a big wood chipper. It looks like maybe there's a huge tree coming down in the neighborhood because there are tree people out there with a big wood chipper and they've got one of those big guide ropes. Like you wanna make sure the tree goes a certain way and doesn't hit anybody. Ropes. So I don't know what's going on. Tempted, tempted to put my galoshes on even though I'm in my pajamas. I am covered up, so what's the difference? Let's go see. It's probably cold outside. Hang on.
I guess my answer to that was, yes, they are taking down a tree. Wow. It is 321 and we got our errands done we needed to do this morning, which I was a little nervous about because Saturday, people COVID, you know, the things. I wasn't too bad, um, We, but we didn't thankfully need too much. So we got it done. I have a project coming up for December that I want to do. And I did order some bits, but I'm afraid they're not going to come in in time. So I just bought a little bit more stuff at our local uh, mom and pop stationery and scrapbooking store. Um, also, I wanted to give them some business, which I haven't done since COVID started. So anyway, I did that. And I got the bunny done. I'll put a picture here. Uh, the Christmas bunny is done. And that's going to be factored into the project for December. I'm not going to ever make that chart again because it... Um, just the finished project is cute, but I had the hardest time getting it done just because I'm not really super into Christmassy things. I think, I don't know, there's something about the chart, but I am going to give the chart away and maybe one of you all wants it and you want to try it. Um, so let me know first. I only have one copy. I'm not making photocopies, so I only have one. So first come, first serve. Anyway, I've watered all the house plants, folded laundry. I have to feed the sourdough starter, so... Yeah, I'm going to do that now. And then maybe we'll go for a walk before it gets dark out. Maybe. I think he's paying bills upstairs, so he might be in a grouchy mood later. He might need to go for a walk, maybe. Yeah, maybe. Before that, for the first time ever, we're sending out um, holiday letters in our Christmas cards. We send out Christmas cards every year. We never put a letter in it. A lot of people put sort of a Christmas letter or holiday letter in their card, you know, sort of a summary of what their, how their year's been. Bob and I never do that. Uh, haven't in almost 40 years, but this year we're going to put a letter. So it's on the way from Vistaprint and the postage for the Christmas cards came today. The reason I'm bringing this up is I ordered Christmas cards on Target because I wasn't seeing any that I liked and what I was seeing was really expensive and I didn't think I had any in my stash upstairs that I'd bought like on half off last year. Except then I went through some stuff. These are the ones from Target. These are the, the ones I found upstairs. Oops. So, um, I told the kids don't buy any cards because I have plenty. We do send out about 100 to 125 cards every year. So, these will go. But right now, this is enough for probably two years for us. We don't need that many. Um, if the kids end up not taking any or not taking very many of them, I can say that we don't need to buy any for next year. I need to make myself a note. Because, yeah. So, it's 11.24 p.m. on Saturday, and I almost went to bed, bed and forgot about y'all again. And closing the vlog. It's become a regular COVID thing. I don't know. Hey. Yeah. Anyway, it's been another interesting week. <laughs> But we got a lot of stuff done today, so I'm pretty happy with that. We have a bird bath in the backyard that the moles in the <laughs> neighborhood like to dig under. And so it seems like once or twice a year we need to move the bird bath and strengthen the dirt under the bird bath and re-level and everything. And so I did that today. Um, Bob fixed some electrical issues with some lights in the kitchen. So just, you know, you can't go anywhere. So what are you going to do? Fix the house, right? Anyway, I hope you guys had a good one. I hope it was um, that you stayed out of trouble and that you did um, something, you know, creative or fun. You know, I know we can't really go anywhere, but maybe you watched a movie you haven't seen in a long time. Um, we, we watched The Hunt for Red October. Who who who's who remembers that when it was brand new? Yeah, that came out like in the nineties. Yeah, so that was it was a good. You know, I like Sean Connery. So anyway, um, it's you know, just I don't know. It's weird. It's a weird time of our lives. Anyway, check out the video description for any relevant links. Um, watch some interesting movies, catch up on your YouTube videos maybe that you haven't seen, read a book. I've got my book on Frida Kahlo here. I, I need to read because what am I waiting for, right? Uh, finished my bunny cross stitch this week that I started five months ago when I've been hemming and hawing about finishing because 
I really wasn't enjoying the pattern. Um, but the finished piece is cute and I have a, a project in mind for him and we're going to work, be working on that next month. So stay tuned for that. Uh, support the free content how you can. Uh, links are in my link tree list of links in the uh, video description along with my Instagram and Facebook and all of that jazz. And not um, there's all kinds of information down there, but don't just support my free content. All of your favorite creators have a way to support the free content. If they don't and you can't find it, ask them. Um, I know they could, they would appreciate it. We all would. Um, when you're thinking about shopping for your Christmas gifts this year, um, check out your little Etsy sellers and your, like, again, your content creators and, um, your small mom and pop shops. I know they all appreciate the extra business. All right. That's it for now. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay creative, and go out and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. We'll see you next week. Bye guys.